All right, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. I have to tab in and out so that my mouse works properly. I always feel like this is my mouse, but it's this whole, like, anyway. Let's get back into a standard run, downfall, still liking the Hexaghost, going to elites are deadlier. So we have elites more often, normal enemies are deadlier, elites are deadlier. Loving it. All right, servant rise. Upgrade, no. A random rare relic for a curse? I'll do that. At the end of turn seven? Ugh. I mean, it's cool, but it's not really so interesting to me. Okay, there's this is a good path. You can get a fire and then the elite. We do want to remove a curse, so I don't mind hitting a shop. Could always come this way. There is still an elite to have with a recovery right after. There's two elites over here, though. Well, one, then take a fire, then two, and then potentially three. And this is the only shop I'm seeing. Let's go question marks, then. Um, big fan of Kindle. I find you can get a lot of value out of Kindle. And it helps you if you don't have a power early. Um, strike. Strike. And then getting four more for a Kindle is not as good as just doing another strike. Um, icky. Uh, that's the curse I got. Oh, okay. Um, so I can, if I do two skills, I get the extra block, so I'm at the nine. We can do a float, and I was hoping to get a attack, but we'll just do our icky. It's a pretty, like, inane curse, like, it's not that big a deal. So, one, we actually have plus one strength, so this is just enough for lethal. 19 souls, add a card to our deck. I do like first seal. First seal is very good. First seal is a self-repair. Remove a card from our deck. Um, may as well get rid of Icky. It's a curse, so. We're going for, I was going for the shop, and I can, I can upgrade two cards and still go to the shop. Oh, this one can't be removed. I hate the cannot be removed, that's bad. That's bad. So instead, let's get uh, Seer. We we never get rid of Seer. Um, I don't I don't need to go to the shop anymore. So let's go here. Um. Whoa, whoa, whoa! My my computer is doing a weird lag spike. Okay. Let's continue. I don't have two attacks, so like I can do this. It's just like I should do two defends. Actually, I should have hit this one because he um, he got strengthened. Yeah, great. Look, I, at least I can kill you. Then I can defend. And then first seal, I guess, because I'm going to take a damage here. So defend, defend. And... I mean, this will get played automatically. It doesn't matter. He has one health. He's going to die. To the burn, baby. To the burn. Um, I'd really like, again... Exhaust a card if it was an attack. I don't know, like, the zero cost skills help you do some things, but like, I don't know, I'd rather have this afterlife, power from beyond, like, cause afterlife, it'll just play itself, you know? Um, this is annoying. Because I don't even have a second attack on the first turn. But at least we have some burn on him. He's a very scary elite, and I don't have any, uh... If I play a skill, he'll get two strength. So let's just take the damage. 
Attack, attack. Six block or six heal. I mean, look, if I... No, he, he has the 50% increase with vulnerable, so it's just not worth it. 12, okay. Attack, attack. Kindle, that'll give me four block, and I'll get the two attack. I'll do it, but he went from, like, I got four block, and he got three more attack. But now we have him ignited on turn seven. Guy, come on. I didn't get an attack. I don't have an attack that will do enough alone. I, I needed to draw three attack cards. 27, are you kidding me? I'm basically just gonna die, because I don't have enough attack cards. Like, man, that's so frustrating. Because I have another elite fight after this, so like, I could have got the burn a turn earlier. Like, I, a lot of things could have happened. Um, I do like doubling the soul burn. I do like getting the double powers. Drawing cards is less critical for me. I have to fight an elite, so we're basically, like, going to die. I mean, getting 10 HP is nice, but... Yeah. Attack, attack. At least we got rid of their artifact. Honestly, I need to kill them, so just get the burn started. So two... I don't... I don't have a potion I can... I only got one skill. Like, this is insanity. This is... This is... Uh, like, unreal. Unfathomable. You're gonna be attacking me next turn. I don't have a way of dealing with that. I can get you on lethal. I'm losing my first seal, but again, I'm gonna take more damage if I stay in the fight for a moment longer. So, defend. Unfortunately, you hit the one we didn't want it to hit. Float. Attack, attack, and we'll let this gain one extra card draw for us next turn. Come on. I mean, look at all these dazes. But look, a Kindle gets us very close. Then we can Seer, Defend, and Strike. And now you're almost on lethal. <laughs> I need two more Defends. Yeah, that didn't happen. But, oh yeah, but by getting an Ignition, we did save ourselves. And then getting two extra guard every turn from Brass Tax is really helping us. So that's enough to get you dead, then you... So then you die to burn. I mean, we're going to make it out with, like, no health, but we are going to make it out. It's going to hit you... Yeah, you're super dead. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw one card. That's nice. And then the fairy in the bottle is the revive, and we're probably going to use it right away. Ethereal seal. I do like getting the afterlife cards back. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try getting an attack. Okay. I do not have two attacks, but I can kindle. And I can first seal. And I may as well play Power From Beyond. I don't know what's going to happen here. He's going to hit me for 10. I can defend and 
float. That'll get me to the next level. With my brass tacks, I am going to be enough. I'm going to have enough. So one, two, one, two, and this will play automatically. Actually, my ghost card, I think, does slightly more damage than the strike, so we should have played that. Man, I have so little health. I don't know if taking one uh, one thing was the correct decision there, one strength, but it looks like it's going to work out. So, attack, attack, and then attack. Putting a bunch of ghost burn on you right now doesn't really matter, unfortunately. But hey, we can increment our ink bottle. So where can I get a rest? I need a rest. So, oh wow, eternal form. That is so good. That is so what I'm into. Upgrade two attacks. Every three turns gain an extra energy. That can be super helpful. Discount on all pro... I think you do this and then just buy an upgrade, but I don't know. Like this little bit of extra energy I think does a lot for us because infernal form is so big. But like 50% off discount, like you gotta, and then I don't even have enough to get what I wanted. But we can get a ghost shield. Go shields automatically play. It's only 75 for the the one I want to. But hey, we come here. We have to rest. Thankfully, we did get a max health pickup. Another look. Another elite is so greedy, but I have the bottle. I have the bottle. And if it's you, specifically you, then look, I can... I can Kindle, and I can Seer. In three turns, you're going to explode, and I'm going to get my Infernal form before then. We'll play you. I don't want you to exhaust yet. He's going to be waking up. Oh my god! Game! One, one card left. Are you serious? Ah. <sighs> Why did that give me an energy? I just played... I just played a power. Am I crazy? I, I just played the metallicized self-repair. I, I missed something? I see that it gave me plus one card draw from the ink bottle. But this is... I mean, look, I'll take it. I just don't understand how I got plus one energy. I don't have a relic. I don't have an artifact. These ghost flames don't do that. Okay, I mean, we're here now. Uh, Kindle, float, defend, defend, and then this one will afterlife and give me some blur. I'll bring just a little bit of block to the next one. And then I just need to play three energy. So one, two, Reclaim, Ghost Shield, and attack for 8 a whole bunch of times. He's attacking for 20, but that's, I mean, as much as I could get, right? Two attacks. So, Strike, Echo, Seer. I mean, like, you're taking 40 damage now. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. Dreamcatcher. When you rest, you can add a card. Maybe... An afterlife card that hits everyone is nice. 
Am I going to get another rest before the boss? No. So let's rest now. Advance. Fast forward. I do like an advance. Because card draw might be important for us. I don't have enough to make the shop worth it. So I'll just take this outside path. Um... I don't have a I don't have a defend. <laughs> like I just uh, okay. That'll get me the, a little bit of defend. And I mean I'll sear you so that you're you're dying. Defend. This is like I don't know, clearly I have too many, like, basic strikes and defends in my deck, but, like, my dude, like, how garbage is that? Max HP. There's not really a reason to wait to play this. I could get a relic that makes it better, but I don't know. Um. Okay. I do have two attacks. That'll give me four shield, plus I'm getting two more. So let's get the self repair. Skill, skill. And then I hit you and it might it could have went pop pop and like killed this one but that's fine we've we basically won either way i don't even know why i'm i don't have an attack so oh i had done the power from beyond that's why i had the extra um power that time okay i was so confused where i got the extra power it's the power from beyond i literally don't know my own cards Get me out of here. Um, I already have the... Uh, everything else for that. Do I need you? Eight power can be nice. Or the vigor. I just need to add more cards right now. Okay, they're attacking me all over. I can kill one of the attackers with a six and a six. That'll give me up to six defense. And then this self-repair will make me break even, basically. So you're dying in a couple turns. You could die in a couple turns if I just push this along. Shield. Float. Shield. So this is going to play automatically. Six to everyone. That'll kill you. If I hit... If I hit anything else for six, like you, but you're already dying. I just, this four. And a lot of things are going to get played for free here. Sick. I don't like playing this power, so I will. It's, it's a slower way to kill him, but... I, uh, allow me this. So we get our max health. Um, look, I do really like this one. Because we do end up creating a lot of ignited areas. I just worry that I don't have enough attacks. For instance, right now, I have one attack in my hand. He's gonna play Vulnerable. He got two curses. So we play one attack, play one of these. I'm actually okay with this not burning yet. So this will apply that twice. So he's gonna hurt himself. Hmm.
gonna play this. A couple power from beyonds is gonna make this pretty good. So this is free, this is free, this is free. Four more soul burn or leave the seer in the deck. I'd actually rather leave the seer in the deck. This guy's a lot of health to burn through. A lot of powers from beyond are gonna make our next turn huge. So get me my my form. He's shielding. I would still like to skill and skill to light this and get some upgraded cards. Arguably, I could have done that first to get the intensity potentially upgraded. I mean, it would give me two more intensity. I'm not sure if that's better than a bunch of cards upgraded, but... Whenever you apply Vulnerable, I apply one week. Take 50% more from Vulnerability. Okay. I don't see a power card here. Unplayable status card. Okay. 21 damage incoming. Attack, attack. That at least gets more burn on you. Allow me to advance and see what we get here. I don't mind doing this. I mean, you're going to get hit either way. I got a bunch of wounds. What the hell? Glad I did it. So he's putting a lot of garbage in my deck. I certainly don't mind drawing a card. You're just doing block. So draw a card for me. Well, Seer and Strike then. And this is 8 times 5. It's pretty serious. And now what has he got? Feel no pain. He's attacking for only seven, but he's gonna apply vulnerable. So attack and then attack twice to get a card back. And then stoke the flame, may as well get a defend upgraded. My defense is like wasted, but. <sighs> At least he's not attacking right now. So I can play a uh card here, a card here, a card there. Oh, that drew me a card. Well, it didn't matter. There's no way for me to play that otherwise. Either way, he died. Ooh. Gain a random power cost zero. Apply 16 soul burn. 24 soul burn. It's not that good. This gains a power. And there is cards that make X stronger. This is... I really like Time of Need, because it retains, so you can hold it for when you have the power thing. So Potion's good, this good. Oh, God. One less intensity? It's not too bad, because we have the power to up our intensity, but the soul burn taking longer. It's just, this tiny house sucks. So we're going to do this, but I feel like that would have been better for, like, a retract build. Um, this shop is almost a must. But then we can kind of go down the middle, so I don't mind it. I want to upgrade Eternal Form. Like, we want to play this every time it shows up, without fail. Ugh. Let's try it. The Necronomicon. The first stack played each turn costs... Two or more is played twice. And then we get a special curse. I assume it's un... There's no escape from this curse. Okay. Fair enough. So we just need to make sure that it's the only curse that we have, basically. So this is... Like... Time of need. What do you got? Three plated armor, that'll help. Like, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage here, but. Now we're down to one plated armor. How fun is that? Two attacks. 
it, it's not a thing. Let's float. Two skills? This is this is not going well. Not going well at all. And now I don't have a power. And they're both leaving. Oh, you're not running yet, though. Nice. So ignite, stoke the fire, fast forward gets me that card draw. I already have enough defense, so you, you, well actually I don't even need more defense. And you have 25 burn on you, which is basically lethal. Upgrade a bunch of cards. Attack, attack. Attack for 12 a bunch of times. Yeah. Soul burn is bad for me. Because it takes longer to blow up. But I don't mind an X card. Because we do have a lot of energy, it seems. It's an attack. I only have one attack. Let's get some heal. And apply a bunch of soul burn. Twice. Oh, I should have not even played the heal. Oh my god. Oh wait, I do have a skill. This skill. You're a skill. Whenever you advance, gain strength. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna take four damage. We do have some amount of self repair, so, like, fine. We can kindle, we can sear. I kind of want this to burn away. We didn't get our uh, our fire intensity thing, so we're still at minus one. He has 65 soul burn on him. But we can strike and then double it. Fast forward. And we'll see him next time. I mean, he's at half health. That's not bad. 201 out of 400. Um, this one's already upgraded, which I'll take. 160. I mean, look, starting with 10 block can be super helpful. Always upgrade the powers you add. Start with one artifact. I mean, look, I want the block. The artifact is what I'm questioning like it's such a good thing if i were to remove something like i have so many strikes and defends that are just bad i used to love this card i need to i need card removal i need something out of this deck I've added attack, 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 defend, defend, attack, attack. I need to get rid of my attacks. With $50 left, upgrade all the cards in your hand for the rest of combat. Is there another shop coming up? There could be. I'm going to save my money. Let's go here. Noah's the triple the chance of finding rares. A 
obtain a special relic. Gain a random relic for pain. I mean, I just got the anchor. Two block every turn or 10 block on the first turn. You easy come, easy go. And the lowest gift, okay. I still want to fight elites. What would I upgrade? I have a lot of upgrading I can do. Making you zero cost is super nice. I'm gonna make this one zero cost. I know I could have rested, but like we have to take some some risks here. There is a resting point after this one. Throw a vulnerable on you, and let's just have you die immediately. I don't know. Like, it kind of hurts, but it played it twice. <laughs> I don't. Maybe I didn't need to do it. Maybe I had the damage, but I didn't feel like I did. So, can I, like, defend forward? That ignites. First seal, that ignites. Hit you. Then you're four damage? Why are you only four damage? Why is this two strength not uh, applying? Like am I... This is six damage. Oh, because I'm, I'm weakened. Yes. So 19 defense. Now you're basically on lethal now. Oh no, because the timer's longer. Of course. Um, strike, strike. Stoke. Oh, I could have pushed forward with a float. Advance. Oh, of course. Every time. It's literally the last card of my deck. Literally the last. There's nothing you can do about it. It's fine. It's fine. 19 damage coming in unmitigated. No. Cannot play attacks this turn. Doesn't matter though. We already won. We didn't get a power that heals us more. We already played our healing power. Bag of preparation is very helpful though. Deal six damage to a random enemy. Repeat for each exhausted serial card. That's not too bad. It is a two cost card that we can uh, that we can double with our Necronomicon. So, if I play this twice, I do get the benefit of triggering... <coughs> That'll get me up to six defense. Eight. Eight times four? Like, eight times five, is so that's like 32. If I defend first, I'll just take a lot less damage. And then we can, you know, we can let this happen. He has 50 soul burn on him. Like, whatever. We take a damage. Defend. Fast forward. It's four times. I want this though. I wanted this next time, but. I don't need nine block.
That's for sure. Get rid of one of his armors. Attack you twice. Nine and seven is 16. So instead I defend twice. So seven times two is 14, sorry, I said 16. I'm embarrassed, I'm sorry. Um, Radiant Flame, Float, doesn't really matter. He had 65 burn on him at that point, right? So. I hate extinguishing. I do not want these cards. I feel like I need to do a rest, because I have several fights coming up. Firestarter is such a good attack that I like it a lot, and I'm going to take it. It's not a good for like this fight, because we're up against a, a monster. But hey, what can we do? Seven times two. We do have some freed block here. I need more go like those shields. I certainly need you and you. And I want to play this thing, but I could not. It would have been very helpful. Do I have attack cards? No. I mean, I do have one, but in general, no. So let's move forward. Skill. Defend. Is it worth retracting? I don't ever really retract, but I don't want this card to go around my hand, so... We'll get the Ghost Flame on you. We'll play one of these powers from beyond. We need a defend from here as well. And Stoke, okay, that's good. Get a couple uh, upgraded cards here. So 14 damage five times, that's 50 plus 20, it's 70 damage. 70 damage times two is lethal. I miscalculated? Uh, eight damage twice for two skills, one. Two. And then this triggers it again. I mean, it was still fine, but anyway. You can now remove cards at rest sites. Love that, because we need to do that a lot. I do have cash. I do have cash. Boom, 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 boom. So far, so good. He has 80 burn on him. Defend. Ignite. So ignite this twice. I have 22 defense. That's enough. Let's get six attack a handful of times. Oh, last time the second card didn't get the bonus of Vigor. That's why it was way less damage. Now I have Vigor, so the first card I played is going to do a lot more. First two combo attack. Okay, I did get the power. This is like nothing though. Unfortunately. I don't want to use a potion for this. I really don't have anything here. I need five. No, I have five damage. Okay. Boom, baby. Give me all my souls back. Ethereal, 13 damage. It's not Ethereal Afterlife, though. Nah. So what do you got for me, dude? 
Non-combats, for sure. When you defeat an elite, get extras back. Apply two vulnerable on breaking block. That's actually cool. Rain of Embers is good. We've been using it. Um, One of three random power cards seems pretty good. I need to remove another basic strike. Then... I'll take this. 230 more. I'll take the Jujus. I'll take the random power. And I'll take this. Because I, like... A ghost strike would be nice. I think I can get both, actually. There we go. We, we did a big buy. Big buy there with our discount cards. So you're going to make get strength for a long time attack attack float to the next turn unleash spirit is like nothing I think I'm gonna focus you down because you have less attack well I'm just gonna I'm not I'm gonna worry I'll let the seer apply to whatever it applies to so, fast forward, Eerie Expedition, a power, nope, did not get. The thing is, I'm going to have blur, so all my block will come to the next round. So defend, defend. I'm just going to take all my block for the next round. And we'll have a more productive turn. Or I'll just get my, my power out. Eventually, I'm going to draw inf Infernal Form. There we go. We'll just look at this. Extra cards that gain. Okay, no. So you're good. You're good. And sorry, it's every card I play? Non-attack. So you're basically dead, but you're not actually dead yet. I can kindle and then stoke. You are dead. So you're going to hit me for 18. I have 11 defense, but I'm going to get two more. Okay, okay. That allowed me to draw a bunch more cards, which is nice. But now, bam, 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 bam. Fire potion, nope. 11 damage, no, I, I really like these ghost shields. I'll like, I'll just let them burn, baby. I'll let them burn. I'm gonna get the heal, even if it hurts this. And now look at all this ghost shield I'm getting. Holy. I don't want to get my card that I can't play. So I now have how much blur? I have three blur. So for the next three rounds, my everything stays, you know? So we'll do this. We'll stoke the fire. We'll apply attacks to everyone. And we can do that. We can re recapture one of our cards. Ten. Okay. You are good. Retain. Float. Sure. Sure, sure. I mean, we're still bringing our block with us. Everyone's about to get a huge amount of fire burn here. Uh... Kindle? Let's see who this hits. Okay, hit you. Well, whatever. And does this matter at all? No. But like, you're all dead, basically. You're just you're just all dead. Super overkilled. Super dead. Ghost flame wall. It's not an attack. 
It is a card, though. Um... Again, we're gonna take a bunch of damage. I'm gonna lose the first seal. Sixteen. Like that's like way too much. And yet here I am. A power no. It's the fairy's bottle that's going to help us out here, but that's about it. Um, unleash spirit. 21 damage, and then unleash spirit. I mean, we got out of that fight quickly, which is nice. We'll take another unleash spirit. We basically should be doing a strength build, really. So kindling makes sense. Fire starter makes sense. I mean, I should have done the time of need. At the start of your turn, reclaim a random afterlife. So that's really cool. I still want to do this one instead though. And then I'm gonna get a bunch of blur. So this guy is gonna become two people and that's gonna be really annoying. But whatever, we'll draw a card, play it, play this, play that, hit the wrong one. This one can burn away, I'm not too worried about that. I, I still have a lot of blur, so I like the idea of defending in case I draw my power. Not to mention I'm going to have a whole bunch of extra draw and power this turn. So there's my Infernal. So... I just don't want to hit the wrong person with Soul of Ember. So I want to play this. Then I want to upgrade my cards. This will give me strength a second time. I mean, I'll do 10 damage and 8 Soul Burn. Now we have more blur. He's got a whole bunch of defense, but I've got 33 burn on him, baby. So this eight three times. Ten to all. This is only gonna hit two times. Give me a power, what do we got? He's hitting me for 30. I can get that block out of the way and reset my deck. Okay. So, two skills. Well, let's hit them both. this and then do this this is gonna get me ghost shield so I'm gonna get a bunch of blur he's gonna get strength which is nasty when he does those big multi attacks so that did nothing oh no it, it did let me put the rest down let's go it used all my energy though but it gave me a lot of shield. So I don't know, is that good? Is that bad? Do I want to draw a card? Not really. Ninety-six health. Attack. We got the right one. Attack again. Apply extra. Apply. Taking some blur to next round feels nice. I don't know why he took 50 damage just now. But fire starter and then super attack. Molotov, 30 soul burn, okay. 
I really like Incinerator. We can double up on that one as well. Two less card choices? I don't feel that that's so bad, actually. Because, like, we've kind of already got 30 cards in the deck. We have a good chance of finding rares if they show up. We already have a lot of rares. Um, I probably want to kill elites. I mean, I probably just want to go to the boss, realistically, but... I'm greedy and like to fight elites. This is a pretty good path. A lot of resting, a lot of opportunities to bail out. Um, yeah, I don't feel like we have to add that many cards, so I don't mind going to the question marks. Toke to remove another basic attack. Instead of upgrading, I'm token, baby. I want a relic. They're getting strength up, so we want to hit them real fast. Do I have two attacks to do? Well, I can fire starter and then attack you. I'll float forward, a defend, and one of these will trigger that. These can play automatically. Do I really want them to be around? Well may as well because there's not really much value in a blur for one so eternal form five damage four to 20 damage uh, upgrade some cards probably just kindle no, defend for eight. Kindle would have defended for five, but it would have also given me a power, which would have been nice, but look, we're here now, so they're getting stronger. We need to move forward. Apply extra soul burn. Another attack, please. If the current ghost flame I mean that really doesn't do much for me though. Forty damage incoming. I can always throw this Molotov next turn if I don't have lethal on at least one of them, presumably. So like bam 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 bam. No! I thought he was dead. I'm so sorry. Wait, no, wait, he took 10 damage. Why, which one did 10 damage? I have so many relics at this point. At the end of your turn, deal damage or something? No, I don't know. I forgot about the uh, 52 damage to all enemies. Whenever you play power, heal two HP. That's so good. Bird faced urn. Next card you play is played twice. A rain of embers. I mean, probably the shop. Three tax gain dexterity, brew potions. Heal for free. Sale. Heal for free. I mean, I look, I love a ritual, but I need to keep getting these basics out. Oh, wait, did I go the right way? I must have. I wouldn't go the wrong way. This is a lot of nasty. Eight damage five times. 40 damage. Will that actually kill like two of them? Will it... It won't play the second one? Well, I... Um, I have regrets. But hey, I drew some more uh, afterlife cards. So burn my whole hand. Now I have enough. 
And now what do we got here? Ten attacks of six, but you have four. Got some nasties. Fast forward. Kindle. Did I retract a second ago? Why am I here? Um. I need armor. Like, defend. Defend. Four, like... I think this kills a lot of myself. So I'm just gonna fire starter and apply more. And then this will attack again, I think. Yeah. Alright, time of need gets me a power. Sure. Stoke to upgrade. Float. Hit you. I mean, he's just gonna die, right? Like, it's fine. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Like, Kindle. Float. Stoke. Seer. Oh, this will just kill you. There we go. Octo cooler. No, thank you. Lose nothing. You, you are an elite. The next card I play is played twice. I don't know, maybe I could have embered you. 40 damage, twice, three times, I mean, would have been cool. Let's float, defend, and then this will trigger that for another defend, this will proc, it's a whole thing. So a power, five damage twice, power, may as well attack for one. This is ready for next turn. Two times. This attack will be played twice. Start your turn, get a reclaim, hit you, that'll apply twice. Stoke. Defend. Yeah, I don't need the blur, it's fine. So this, nine times two is a lot. What's this gonna give me? Whatever. Even if it's only one damage every time, it's applying like 130 soul burn, right? So it is what it is. Uh, 22 times 2. Why don't I skill and fast forward? And then kindle this. 23 for 5. Seems pretty good right now. Like, the intensity was so high there. Add vulnerable. No longer advance. We've talked about this in the past, and it's always been bad. Letter opener. Three skills. Deal five damage. Okay. Oh, I thought these paths were the same. Well, I guess they are, but this one has the extra... No, this one has two extra rests. So one more elite. Scroll. 
Screw you, game. Attack, fire starter. Seer. They're only attacking for nine. Let's not take damage. He has six health. That's not going to be a problem. This minion, though. I mean, they, they attack so big on the second turn, right? So let's see what power we get here. At the start of your turn, get a reclaim. Mm, maybe that's interesting. Skill. Upgrades. First seal. That heals me. Cost zero, right? The first four playable cards drawn at the start of each turn cost one less that turn. Sure. We'll heal two more. Power Eternal. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Um... I mean, I made a bunch of things I don't care about, like, cheaper. But, like, sure, I do this. Go here. Fleet footwork, all that stuff. This, this is annoying. This will play it twice, but I don't think it'll actually play it twice, yeah. Do I want to bring a bunch of blur? I do want to bring a bunch of blur and make these unleashed spirits actually good again. With all my unleashed spirits, the whole draw a bunch of cards and make them ethereal or whatever is not a bad bet. Does this hurt me because it only costs one now? Yeah, I see how that's an issue. Bam, 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 bam. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. You dead. Bottle Flame, choose an attack. Add a card to your deck. No. An attack for your very first turn. I mean, the Incinerator is actually kind of nice because it's a two-cost card. It will be played twice. It'll get us all the power we need. It's not this. It's not this that leaves us with no, like, availability for anything else. No. No, 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 no. So in this way, we toke. This way... Fight yourself for a rare relic. I don't want to curse, so let's see. This is like the stage one boss, right? Like, it's not a problem. Shouldn't be. Well, I should have played the power first because it would have applied an extra, extra burn. Man, I wish I had the chemical X this round when it gives you plus two to the play. Um, two skills. Skill, fast forward, power card. I kind of need these cards to get burned, so let's just draw some, some more. This is an annoying amount of damage. Five attacks for seven. What's this going to give me? Five attacks for seven, but play them twice. Another bunch of sevens. Eh, first seal. May as well heal. From the power and from the self-repair portion. I don't actually know what that bonus ten is at the end. I'm like, I have so many things at this point. 
like for every three cards in your deck no vulnerable no the, the skills I get but I don't know when you have no cards draw a card that's nice no I mean I don't mind the exhume but no no don't want any of these toke or another basic defend. Um, Smith. Last chance. If, if I'm going to be playing this at the start of the fight, I should upgrade it. It's only for an extra four soul burn, but still. So we'll check what the power is. Get the intensity... And, like, this is actually an instance where I should just play the Reign of Embers. Well, actually, no, you're gonna... Yeah, just play it. Just play it. Just, just end this. Skip, skip. Alright, what do we got? So, nothing really in the first turn. Whenever you ignite... Okay, what is this? Whenever you play a power card, he gains a focus. Well, let's hit him. With our max card. That's 80 soul burn. And he should get hit one more time, right? Yeah. So nasty, for sure. Chain lightning, evoke. Evoke your next storm two X times. Okay. Skill. Skill with some upgrades. Float. Yeah, do this. He's about to do a lot of damage, but... I kind of want these to burn. Thorn away. I should have got the thorns. I should have got the thorns. I mean, he doesn't actually do that many attacks, but whatever. So 12 damage a million times. Alright, drink the thorns, but yeah. 12 damage like a million times? Like... Do you see this? He has 189 burn on him. Just X cards with 5 energy. And there, there's my power card that I thought was gonna, like, win me the game. But instead, like, he still has 189 <laughs> stuff on him. I had so many win conditions there. Whatever. We, we could have killed even more elites at the end. Victory! Ascension mode level 4 unlocked. And... Recycler. First time a non-status, non-curse, ethereal card is exhaust in combat. Add a copy to your hand that costs 0 until played. I don't understand. Because most of the time, the first time they're going to be exhausted is when they get played at the end of your turn, and then it gets added to your hand for the next turn? Is that what it is? Either way, this is an insane relic. Uh, the fourth ghost lane becomes Mayhem ghost lane. Mayhem activates when you end your turn on it. Ignition. Play the top card of your draw pile. I mean, that's cool. Swap positions of the bolstering ghost flame and the first searing ghost flame. So your first ghost flame will be the power increase one. I love that. I think that is so cool. So one of the strategies you could do is you could get the uh, card that makes it so that you don't move anymore. And then you just get a bunch of cards that allow you to light the ghost flame and extinguish it. Or reignite the ghost flame for no cost. And you could just like 
smack all that free shield and all that free strength. Like, that is really cool. Very, very cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. That was another ascension level with the ghost flame. So we're, we're having a good one. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.